Hello friends, so today in this video we'll be looking at some amazing feature of Foxit Phantom PDF Express. I love it. Now you can see, I'm dealing now with Homeschool Teacher Control Journal as a student. And the reason is I want to prepare myself for uh, some entrance examination and for that I had to be my own teacher. So I loaded this control journal. Instead of printing it out and making all mess, I'm just thinking of printing only the most important information. So whatever I like, I'm going to mark and do amazing stuff. Since it's a Foxit Phantom PDF Express tutorial, I'll be showing you its amazing features here. As you can see here, this is the lesson 1, start the new year checklist. Now I have July or August set up. So when will I start? Tomorrow at 8. So how do you get things like this? You go first to view. Mm -hmm. Comment. Yeah. For comment like this, you need to do typewriter. Where? No. Start writing there, okay? And you can even change the color. And other things, okay? So in commands, you can do the type like word. So how do you get notes like this? And uh, if you want to go away from this, shift delete or escape. Escape works really well. Okay. So this one, I had the notes. See, main days are Sundays and holidays. Other days, one hour. And why didn't I use the typewriter thing instead I used notes? Because this was really large and was like becoming clumsy and all. So this one was better for me. When will I schedule breaks? Once in every half an hour for five minutes. Okay. I'll end this earlier in 2017 Jan and something related to it. And now I have this arrow. You'll be thinking from where did I get the arrow? We have some drawing materials here. A polygon and other stuff. So let's draw a polygon now here. Okay. You can make a polygon with infinite number of sides. And then double tap it, you get thing out. You can change the points so that if you get this plus kind of symbol, you can move the dots somewhere. And if you get this arrow kind of symbol, the black arrow, you can move the body. And if you want to delete it, escape it. Click it, escape it, or shift, delete it. So you can use these two options. Sometimes one works, sometimes the other doesn't. So what all other features do we have in the comments bar? You can highlight things. Okay, and you can uh, control Z. I'm sorry, control Z. And you just remove it. And then other than that, you can just, you know, underline it swiggly like you get in Word, like when you type a wrong letter or something. And then this, there are so many ways you can cut the text, like this thing. And um, so if I want to format it, I can use some other colors and amazing things like that. And I can do Control C and then that gets removed, you know, undo or else you can use this one. So apart from that, you have so many options here. What is a call out actually? Like this. So if you have some important language. Hi. You want to type something. Type it. Uh, this doesn't mean anything, just you know. Just for some sake, I just like did it. Then you can um, click somewhere else. Click on this. That and then this and then again you need to get the plus here so that you can move things up you need to get that arrow mark the black arrow mark somewhere okay to move the whole thing okay so i'm gonna do cut or delete whatever you want to do so now we have seen comments and you have pencil you can draw anything out there like if you're feeling like handwriting and if you use a touch device then that works awesome as well. I'm going to control Z again. You can uh, simply cut it out. In commands I'll select the hand thing so that I can do whatever I want. You can erase things, distance, so many things, summarize comments. It's like 
documents and comments with connector line and say we can do something you have to use all the options and like okay this page I don't have any comments I'm gonna go to this page now the page where I did something I showed you right okay not this not this yeah this page you have so many comments out here so you can see it very well so I'm gonna do it um okay so we're like comment view and I'm gonna go to the privilege of comments is a different PDF I don't understand I suppose what I meant actually so yeah I'm just like to save it huh okay so nope okay so we'll go to comments and I'm like summarize command and like okay and then press okay it opens a different view okay just remember this it opens a different view this is very important for us to know because I myself for the first time when I tried it out I got confused like how to remove this thing and I was so frustrated and then I'm like oh I didn't see this and you can just close it when the preview is done so this was just the beginning of Foxit, Phantom PDF Express Preview and a good amount of information on the comment section actually in this time and hope I see you soon with amazing information on the tech world till then take care of yourself and bye bye and please do subscribe